Hello and welcome to another episode of Revealing God. Hey guys, today I have got a special treat for you. Um, I'm so excited to share this with you. Um, it's incredible. It shows exactly how amazing our Lord is. It's a special with uh, Donna Clement Petruska and a gentleman by the name of Bo, Bo Polney. And basically he looks at like different timelines and um, scriptures and also Kim Clement's prophecies. Um, and uh, matter of fact, he actually um, shares the prophecy that Kim Clement had with Clay Clark, who if you watched my last special, um, he was the one that was uh, given the top 25 things you need to know um, and uh, Donald Trump. And so anyways, Without further ado, because it's a long one today, it's going to be over an hour, but I guarantee it's worth it. You're not going to want to miss it. Enjoy. Okay, so I think we are ready for Bo Polney. Now, listen, we've known Bo for a couple of years now, and we met him at the Reawaken America tour, and of course, we got along so well. So I'm going to bring him on. Everybody, welcome my dear friend, Bo Polney. There he is. Let's change the screen a little bit here. Let's do this. Let's do this. There we go. Welcome, Bo. How are you today? Great. Thank you, Donnie. Oh, thanks for joining us. Pleasure to see you again, again, and again. Thank you. Yes, and my husband told me to tell you, looking good, Bo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. I love your husband. He is a crack up, and I really enjoy hanging out with the two of you when we get together if we course. listen you guys everybody watching we, we do we hang out with Bo at the real he's one of the people we actually hang out with at reawaken it's gene and Bo and amanda grace and all of us hang out together we have a good time but you know what i've come to find Bo polney is definitely anointed he's got a special kind of brain and and a, and a way of of looking at this and code breaking um that is god has anointed him for this without a doubt and so i'm super excited to hear what you have to share with us today Bo. What is going on now? Are we still looking? Are we looking at our seasons prophecy? Because I actually pulled it up. Actually, um, <clears throat> I'm going. This is so exciting because I literally uh, I've been working on a book and I'm just doing final edits on it. And Good. I've been putting together pieces in the this past weekend. And it's incredible what the Lord revealed to me just uh, yesterday Good. in reference to your father and the revelation of his prophecy and prophecies prior to the seasons prophecy oh good okay let's go so you're oh. going to go you're 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 gonna love this because i was laughing so hard yesterday because when the lord reveals things to me it's just it's comical and the reason i think it's comical because it's so perfect yes it's so perfect and when you hear the understanding because that's where you're going to get the understanding of your father's prophecy and you are going to go oh my gosh it's this. so exciting because um these prophecies have to happen before the season's prophecy okay let's look so um, i'm and, and this ties in with clay as well too it's, it's all of these pieces that gods have put together because what is revelation Right, Donate? We're, right. It's a reveal. So yes. God's revealing his secrets to his servants. Huh. And that's all that we're seeing secrets being revealed because if all of it was explained at the very beginning, you know, evil would know what God's plan is. And so God's revealing things at certain specific time points. So it's really fun to watch all of this uh, come together. So I prepared a, a, seri a series of a few videos of your father. Uh, and then we can discuss them in relation to, you know, my, my slides and, and timing and there, and whatever else come wherever the Holy Spirit takes us on this yes. presentation. So it's pretty exciting. So let me get the first uh, one up here. We can get this going here. Let's, let's start with this one. I'm making share an open screen here. If you can put it up on your screen. Okie dokie. There we go. Okay, so so okay. here we go. Let's listen to this one. Let's start here. Okay. This was sacred to God. Now is the time to act. This is exactly why I need some action for my people. 
There is a man by the name of Mr. Clark, and there is also another man by the name of Donald. You are both watching me saying, could it be that God speaking to me? Yes, he is. The Spirit of God says, hear the word of the prophet to you as a king. I will open that door that you prayed about. And when it comes time for the election, you will be elected. Whoa. Okay. Wow. So that's the first one. And why is that important? Well, what the Lord revealed to me um, just yesterday was to go study two special things. And that's specifically both of these individuals, but specifically their birth dates. Okay. So let's look at that here. So there we go. So we've got Donald Trump born on June 14th, 1946, and Clay Clark born on November 5, 1980. So, and the reason being that's important because specifically, when your father spoke of this, he spoke of them together in the same prophecy. Yes, he did. Right? So yeah. that's that's important to, to put together because there, there's relationship between both of these people with regards to timing of events that are about to happen on this world. Okay, so that's the first piece that I wanted to show you and your viewers. We need to know these, both of them. We, oh, you and I know that, well, I've never met uh, Donald Trump personally, but you know, we... Yeah, but we've met uh, Clay numerous times, but both and Dave Eric. are critically, oh, and Eric, yeah, Eric and Donald Jr., we've met them. But the point is, uh, the, the dates are critical with regards to their timing. And so we, we want to start with that. And the second thing we want to understand is the timing of things. And your father had a prophetic word with regards to time. And what they did was they changed the clocks. Okay, so... Uh, not say they, but evil. Evil operates in darkness in the shadows. And what he will do is he'll change the clocks. Why? Why does evil and God and evil change clocks so you miss appointments? Yeah. It's actually written right. in the scripture about that. Whereas if you if uh, it, they change the clocks and, and the reason the scripture is so you would miss appointments, specifically, you know, God's appointed times. If Satan didn't change the clocks, the Hebrew nation would not have missed Jesus's time on earth. Right. But they changed the clock. So the Hebrew nation, unless you read, unless you read, you know, the interpretation of what you're looking for, the clocks were all changed. So then your father's got a prophetic word. So we know we want to we want to study Clay. We want to study Donald Trump. And then second thing, we want to understand the timing of clocks. So here is this uh, one. We can want to put this one up as well, too, if you could put this up on your screen. OK, and so let's listen to this prophecy right here, because your father talks about two clocks and what I'm, I'm going to reveal that to you in just a second here. So here's the two years of prophecy. The Spirit of the Lord says, there be two clocks, two watches. I am about to annihilate one of the clocks. There has been the agenda and the timing of men and the agenda and the timing of the, of the Lord God most time. God said the one clock has indicated one season, but the other clock has been ignored, which has been mine. People have said that there is poverty around us, and there is sickness, and things don't seem to be getting better. The Spirit of the Lord said they've been looking at the wrong clock. They've been looking at the wrong timing. God said in Jerusalem in the time of Christ, he said, had you known, had you yes. known that this was your day, your day of visitation, the Spirit of God says, my dear man, visitation comes from the Greek word, episcope, which simply means an inspection. There have been an inspection during this past decade, but that inspection was to see if you qualify for what I'm about to pour upon the house of the Lord. And God said, I said to you, yes, you have qualified. And God said, I've inspected you, and I've seen your hearts want something different. Your hearts want something new. And God said, because of that, I have annihilated the other cross. I have annihilated Ooh. the other cross in the Lord. And I have given to you what my timing contains. I'm going to pour out upon you in prosperity. I give you the hand before, says the Lord. Come on. Okay, so I'm not sure if you remember that prophecy, but how powerful is that? So now he's telling us, so your father is telling us that there are two clocks that the world is running on, 
and there's man's clock and God's clock. Man's clock is basically the clock that is, you know, is the clock that created by Satan. So these are the Roman, it's a Roman calendar, Roman clock. And that's the clock that we're using every day, mm -hmm. the calendar. But that calendar is actually perverted or yeah. twisted. So we're confused. So let me show you this so your viewers can have a look here. But you'll start seeing how these pieces are starting to come together. So if we look yeah. at the actual clock, here is, here's the calendar. Okay, I see. Okay, okay so now let's go with, go with this near. Go with me, go with me here. Okay. Um, if you study Roman language, okay, the word dece is a very simple number. Dece means 10. It means 10, yes. Okay, oct means eight. Eight. Sept means seven. Yes. So what I'm showing you here is that there's no coincidence. It was just dece one time, but there's there's three beautiful examples of understanding numbers. So the reason September is called September because it's the seventh month. October is the eighth month. Dece is the tenth month. That makes sense. And January is the eleventh month. February is the twelfth month, which means what? New Year's is when? March. Yay. Let me explain wow. to you another way of counting, okay? So we understand that there's 364.25 days, or like 0.25 days every year, extra, 0.25 extra. So what you have to do is you take 0.25 or a quarter, and you add four years together to create what's called a leap year. We yeah. all know that, okay? Yes. So let me ask you, Donna, where do they put the leap year? You would put it normally at the end of the year. So yeah. if that be the case, why wouldn't they put the extra day in? December. December, but they don't. They put it in February. <gasps> wow. Look at my calendar that I God see. showed. Not my calendar. This is what God showed me. Look at the calendar and now understand what I just said. Yes. That's called revelation. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So what we're seeing is there are two clocks. You've been look, we've been looking at the wrong timing. That is fascinating. Oh, this gets oh better. Oh, my goodness. I, I Donnie, this is just happen, a warm-up. around, my mind gets blown. Here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> so, and this is just a warm-up to what's um, what God revealed to me, okay? okay? So, what I want people to understand is we're look, we're all looking at the wrong timing. We're looking at the wrong clock mm. because the clock is something very specific. It's relation to when does 2024 begin? Mm. 2024 is beginning now. And so, if I pull up the month of March... Okay, so this is March. Yes. Today is Purim, the 24th yes. of March, but it's actually based on the Julian calendar, the 11th. It's the 11th. Mm. It would be of the, the first of the first month. That makes it 311 today. Yes. Oh my so God. no, it makes it, it makes it makes it it makes it the first month, the 11th day. So, so today is one, one, one. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so today, today would be the first month of the year. Yes, okay. And the 11th day, which is per. Very interesting. There is a, another calendar called double dating calendar, which actually indicates that tomorrow could be a New Year's time point as well. We also have tomorrow uh, as a blood moon. Yes. OK, so what I'm showing you is the, the if God's going to intervene on the world. Uh -huh. He will intervene. This would only make sense if, because we're looking for the birth of something new. He would birth something new in the spring, not in the dead of winter. Right. Very simple to understand. Yeah. Okay? These are God's seasons. He made seasons and spring is a time of birth. It is. OK, so we're stepping into a time of birth. God's not going to do in the dead of winter. Why? Because we are still in the year 2023. We're just stepping into right now, this year, 2024. Wow. We've just started 2024. And if you study scriptures, this is the fun part. Now we're getting into some fun stuff. Because if, if we run the Julian calendar, which is the calendar that was used, it was, it was started 45 BC. This is the calendar that's 2060 years old. We used at the time Jesus was on the earth. What I'm saying is this was the calendar at the time of Jesus. And so if you use this calendar, this will be the new calendar because when, when Babylon falls, we're going to lose 
the old calendar system and step into a new calendar. This is the calendar we're going to step into. I see. Okay. Yes. And so if today being 11th, it's actually, if you study Exodus, Exodus 12, 2, it says you start, this will be the first day. Now be 14th. So today will be 11 Nissan. Oh my goodness. On the Julian calendar. Yes. Which means that this Wednesday into Thursday is 15 Nissan, which ties in perfectly. This is the wild part. It ties in perfectly with the death of Jesus on the cross mm -hmm. and then resurrection seven days from today. Oh, wow. Which just happens to be the actual resurrection day that the world is going by right now. So next weekend is Easter Sunday, even though Easter is a fall, Easter is a fallen angel. doesn't matter. It's not about Easter. It's the, it's the point of resurrection. Mm -hmm. So resurrection. Now, everybody write this down. Resurrection is March 31st. 2024 because you're going to want to know why in a second why i write this down this is critical and so march 31 of oh, seven days from today is resurrection resurrection why i'm saying that is because there's a very specific reason why i'm saying this because your father had a prophecy so this is the reveal that i got yesterday i'm going to go through this in amazing detail because this is truly by godly design, how all of this is coming together. So we understand that. And also before we talk about that, remember Trump was born in, uh, in 46. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's an important calculation. So let's remember, rem let's remember that date also of, of Trump's birth. Okay. So he was June 14th, 1946. Okay. So that's another thing we want to write down here. So now let's get into some calculations because there's three things about the bible that god revealed to me donate the first being is this always go back to the word if you're ever unsure of something go back to the word because it is written yes but if it wasn't for your father as in a perfect example if it wasn't for your father who was doing the father's will your your father god was speaking through your father why because your father, God was speaking through your father to give us humanity, what? Interpretation and understanding of the written word. Hmm. See, if your father didn't do what he did, if God didn't speak through him, we wouldn't be interviewing today. Right. And I wouldn't have and you wouldn't have the understanding of what your father revealed to the world. Okay. So it's critical that that's why God does nothing before first speaking through his servants, the prophets. Why? Yeah. So they can warn his church and more and more importantly, just explain what's written. Yes. Because what is written, there's always that lost in translation thing, too. You know, you can translate and translate and something. So the problem with with a written word is the translation sometimes can you can get a little bit it, misinterpretations of what God mm -hmm. really was meaning or saying. But then when your father as a prophet, as a prophet, will, as God speaks through your father, he gives the interpretation and the understanding. So the answer is very clear of what was written. If that makes sense. Yes. Okay. Perfect. So, perfect. so you have to have the written word. The prophetic word overlaid on the written word gives clarity to the written word. And this is where I come in. Okay. What God also does, he speaks through numerics. He speaks mm -hmm. through numbers. And you're going to see in a second why the numbers are so critical. Because the numbers are the third layer to what your father did and to the written word. So what we would you take the numerics, you can overlay the numerics with the prophetic with a written and your mind begins to blow. You, mm -hmm. you, you start to going, how is this happening? And mm -hmm. yet we're seeing it happen right in front of us. Okay. So now let's, let's go through some numerics here. Okay. So we have, this was the, the, the determining factor for why we are here today is because of Roe v. Wade. Okay. So mm -hmm. let's look at the key dates here. December 13th, 1971 is first argued in Supreme Court, but this is the critical date. Everybody write this down. January 22nd, 1973. January 22nd, 1973 was the reason we are in the mess we're in right now because we decided to kit. We are a nation founded under God. We have a covenant, which is what your father said, immutable. Yes. So because of the covenant we've made with founding with God, the founding fathers did, the covenant's immutable. However, we as a nation turned away from God by killing the creator's creation. So the God said, okay, fine, you want to do, do it without me? So he took his hand off the United States and the globe, and look what we got today. 
Okay. So now I say the date, January 22nd, 1973. Why do I say that date? Very specifically because the date, if you run the Jubilee cycle, Leviticus, thou shall consecrate the 50th year and proclaim liberty throughout the land and to all of its inhabitants. Okay. So if you run 50 years from January 22nd, 1973, you get January 22nd, 1974. I mean, January 22nd, so January 22nd, 1973, you had 50 years, you get January 22nd, 2023. Yeah. Okay. Which was just last January. Yes. And then the, this January 22nd, 2024, we are now in the 51st year. Yes. Okay. Are you with yes. me, Donate? Yes, I am. So with right now we're in the 51st year since Roe v. Wade. So when did the Jubilee end? for roe v wade last year but when no well it would be what, what's the very last day that you could stretch it to when it ends on the 20th if, if, it January, really. if it ends on january 22nd what will be what's the day before 21st right so the january 21st you're gonna love this don't I? okay january 21st ended the jubilee for Roe v. Wade, the 50 years, because on January 22nd, it was officially the 51st year. Right. Are you with me? Yes. Okay. Beautiful. Oh goodness. Oh now, goodness. I'm going through this slowly because I want all the viewers to watch how amazing our God is. Which means that, Jan you just said it, Donnie, January 21st, 2024, just this past year. Yes was the last day of the 50th year because January 22nd, 2024 started what? 51st year. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we are going to go to your father's word and I'm going to show you what God revealed to me with reference to what, you, what your father said when the reference to a specific date. So let's play this here and I'm going to put this up on the screen here. And here we go. So let me just share this. Okay. There we go. Okay, watch this here. January 10th, 2010. I've stood and said, Where is the Lord? you right now. I clicked the wrong video, but I wanted to, I wanted to, there's the wrong video. I'm going to play another one second here, but what did he say there? Look for the sign. Yes. And what's, what's the sign, Donate? What was the sign? What was the sign? Resurrection. Oh, of course. Yes. Resurrection. What did you just write down on your piece of paper? When is resurrection? 
March 31st. Okay, so now let's watch this video here. Yeah, it is next Sunday. And you guys saw Alphabets there. I'm going to have Alphabets on here next Sunday. Okay, here we go. I saw a Python. Yeah, yeah. And God said, between the 70 and 100 days, it shall begin, it, the strangulation and the destruction of this will begin. And it is going crazy. It is manifesting throughout America because it is dying. Now, you may not understand spiritual warfare and Diablo and Satan, Satan and demons and darkness, but it waits for an attraction. It waits for an invitation. And as I've said, there's been great division. But also it was spoken of that beginning January 21st, mm. there would be a period of between 70 and 100 days, the spirit of Pythos will be destroyed if the people act accordingly. This spirit is doing its utmost to destroy as many states as possible, make its mark. It'll be leaving, and we'll show that to you today. I wore this purposefully. It's the gold. And I'll explain that in a few minutes because he spoke to me about watching the gold as a sign. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Okay, wow. so what date did you just write down? January 21st. And there he said it right there. There and is the your revelation. Blocks. Oh, my goodness, Bo, you've done it again. I'm going to be thinking about that. I'm going to go back and watch all these. I'm going to be thinking about this for weeks. <laughs> So the Lord wanted the world to know what your father was saying when he said yes. January 21. Because yes. when does God show up? At the last minute, the last second. Therefore, the last day was January 21, 2024, the last day of the Jubilee, because we overturned Roe v. Wade. If God is with us, who can be against yes. us? Okay, so that's the first part of this. Okay. But oh, it gets better. Yay! I love this. It gets better because I want I want to add more to this. Okay. Now, what did he say? He said between seventy and one hundred days, days, the spirit of Pythos will come to an end. Is that not what he said? Yes. Do you want? So let's look at the math here. So from January twenty one. 2024, 70 days is March 31, 2024, next Saturday, resurrection. Yes. So that's March 31st. And we're going to have the alphabets who you had on the screen are going to be here next next. So, so what, your, what your father is saying is that starting on resurrection – the spirit of Pythos is going to get stopped. Stopped. So, so in other words, it be, it's be, everything begins on Saturday. I uh, sorry, Sunday the thirty first, because he said the spirit of Pythos. His words were, "The spirit of Pyth Pythos will be destroyed between seventy and one hundred days." So seventy days from this January, which ended. 70 days from this January that ended the 50-year jubilee to the exact day is next Sunday, resurrection. And what did your father say? Look for the sign, resurrection, resurrection. I just put three prophecies together for you that God revealed to me. I'm speechless. Like, that never happens to you. <laughs> what yeah, for real. <laughs> <laughs> My brain is just, wow. Oh, my goodness. And you know what's so prophetic about this? I keep saying the alphabets. Because I'm interviewing the alphabets next Sunday on the 31st. And as you're talking about it, there they are on the side of the screen with the video in your wow. presentation. Yeah, because that was when I was speaking with them. They were the ones that showed me the 70 and 90 day clock. And this was just last week. And while they're doing it, I'm doing the calculations going, 
oh my goodness, this is actually on the 31st, which is, which is resurrection. So I'm like, well, and then that's why, that's why we're supposed to do this interview today because we wanted to put all the pieces together for you. So a week before resurrection, you have the understanding of what your father was saying. So what your father was saying was in 1973, Roe v. Wade became law. Because Roe v. Wade became law, we as a nation turned away from God. By turning away from God, we ended up having all the evil that is upon the world right now that we're literally witnessing happen right now, all this evil. But because we overturned Roe v. Wade, God is now with us, Second Chronicles, if God is with us, who can stand against us? If God is with us, who can stand against us? Second Chronicles, if my children who are called by my name humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then, and turn from their wicked ways, we overturned Roe v. Wade. Okay, yes. so we overturned Roe v. Wade on precisely January, or I'm sorry, in 2020, to last year, well, in 2022. But the point was, Roe v. Wade came to an end, and that is on January 21, the last day of the 50th year was exactly January 21, 2024, and then the 22nd began the 51st year. And so your father's prophetic word was on January 21, 70 days forward, you will see the destruction of the spirit of Pythos. And then the second prophetic word that he was singing the song, he says, look for the sign, the sign, resurrection, resurrection. So in both prophecies, he was talking specifically about May, March 31, 2024. Which and is seven it? days later, Donna, is the eclipse. <gasps> no, it's true. Because we're waiting for yes, the eclipse. Seven days right. later is the eclipse. And then from the eclipse, this eclipse is going to go over seven cities called Nineveh. This is, oh, there's, there's so much more. We're just, we're just, we're just warming up that what God showed me. Ooh, this is only a warm up. Okay. Oh, so there's going to cross seven cities called Nineveh. Last time around, it crossed seven cities called Salem. It's going to cross the seven days from res, seven to eight days from resurrection. And it's going to cross it on, on the eighth of, of April, 2024. Mm -hmm. And then exactly seven months to the exact day. Exactly seven months to the exact day yes. is the election. Oh. And on that exact day, Mr. Clark, Mr. Clark will turn 44 oh, years old no. to mark the destruction of Babylon. Why? Because when Mr. Clark turns 44 years old, Israel had 44 kings and then oh. it fell. There were no more kings in Israel. Israel fell as a nation on the 44th and then on the... 44th king, the 44th, 45th came in as president of the United States. Donald Trump and Clay Clark are on the same prophecy because why? Because the 44th, it marks the 44th king, the destruction of Babylon and the birth of God's full-on kingdom in seven months to the exact day from the eclipse. How's that for a warm-up? Oh, my God. Bo, I, I'm... I can't stay in my seat. And he wore the gold. That's right. And what did he say? Okay, so now now we're going to get into pro now let's get into prophecy because why? What happens? Now this let's get back into the eclipse and this is where it really starts and this is just yes. more more layers because revelation is layers upon layers upon layers, okay? So what we're seeing is so from the from the actual eclipse, what God revealed to me is for the Hebrew calendar, you start counting day one on, on April 9th. Yes. So April 9th would be the first day of the year. That's my husband's on the birthday, Hebrew. bro. What's that? It's my husband John's birthday. April Are 9th. you kidding me? April 9th? He's okay, gonna, so see, so he's, he's turned 45. Okay, so, so there you go. So he's tied in with prophecy as well, too. So he's, oh, so he's, so his, so he was good. He's going to fall. So you're, so you need to read. Uh, Exodus with regards to your husband right here, and because this ties in with your husband. So okay. on Exodus 20, 12, 2 is your, the first day of the new year, okay? So first day of the new, the eclipse is on the 8th. The first day of the new year is Exodus 12, 2. That's, you start that as the first day of the year, okay? And then you count 10 days, and that's Exodus 12, 3. On the 10th day, 10th of Nisan, what you're supposed to do is select your lamb. 
And on the third day, you slaughter your lamb and you paint your doorposts. Well, if you know the work that I do, it's 421124. Well, it happens to be on April 21 in the year 2024. 4211. This is only one time in history, in hundreds of years, this will ever happen. 421124 on that date, that is Nissan 13 stepping into 14 is Passover. So mm. from your from your husband's birthday as day one of the year, Nissan 14 is Passover. Okay. Okay. Nissan 14 is Passover leads us into Nissan 15, which is which we're talking. That is the most that is one of the holiest days of the year, Nissan 15. On that day, there are so many things that happen happened on Nissan 15 biblically. If I can find my sheet, here it is. So Nissan 15, the day after Passover is the day that Jesus is crucified. Uh Isaac tricks 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 um Jacob. You've got the Gideon 300 assembled. You've got the angel of death kills 185 Assyrian soldiers. Haman came to the king to convince him to wipe out all the Jewish nation. You've got David's thrown in the lines then, and Belshazzar drinks from the golden chalice, and that night his kingdom comes to an end and he is killed. Wow. So what we're seeing right now is a critical time point right in, in the month of April, 14th and the 15th Nisan. Now, I missed one point that I wanted to show you as well, too. I'm going to backtrack here for just a second. On this date, this is mind-blowing, but on resurrection, back to resurrection, mm -hmm. April 31st, 2024. April 31st, 2024. Remember we said... Mr. Clark and Mr. Tr Mr. Don Donald Trump, Donald, okay, on that day, on resurrection, on resurrection mm -hmm. from the birth of Donald Trump, on resurrection day, no coincidences, this is by design, Donald Trump will be 77 years, seven months, and 77 days old. Oh, my goodness gracious. Wow. And wasn't there a thing about when he was inaugurated and he was seven? Oh yeah, this, yeah. This, so so seven's this all over happening. the show. So so seven. So he would proclaim Israel a state seven years, seven hundred days from the day he was born. Um, there's you know for his his first day in office was seventy years, seven months, and seven days. You know th this just goes on and on. Mm -hmm. um, and, oh, and on the day your father said, Jan oh, I gotta say this. I forgot, I forgot to say this because there's so many pieces here. On the day your father said January twenty one mm -hmm. of twenty twenty four. Yes. He's referring to on that day, Donald Trump was 77 years, seven months and seven days old. My goodness. And then 70 days later is resurrection. So 77 years, seven months and 77 days. That really. From January 21. But all of this is just a coincidence. <laughs> I don't believe in coincidences <laughs> at all, but it does. Show, it, you know what? It really shows how much God God is incredible. He puts and then into this the world no, back to the little eclipse. mini school detail. Wow. Right. And so I'm just, what I'm layering in is all the numerics that basically scream God is in control of all this. Okay. Yes. And so what I'm showing is that now these eclipses we're looking at, right? You know, so it is specifically, um, in terms of from when it's in 2017 to now, it's exactly um, mathematically, it's six years, six months, six weeks, and six days apart. Oh. OK, so this is it's, it's just again, these are just markers yes. in time that we're witnessing happen right here, right now. Now, the marker in time that correlates with all of this is from when Trump got elected. When he got OK, so where do you can go next? So when Trump gets elected, um, it was here's the calculations for it. So he, he got elected twelve hundred and sixty days later. It's a Daniel cycle of time. It will be for time, times and a half a time. That takes us to April 20th, 2020. And then 40 days later, I'm going to this now because we want to talk about the eclipse. 40 days later, the George Floyd riots break out, pieces taken from the earth. And then the next day you have rioting in Paris, rioting globally. Okay. So 40 days after oil went to zero, because oil going to negative $38 a barrel is not a coincidence. God told me it was a marker, okay? So basically, they would pay you $38 a barrel to take, take a barrel of oil. It doesn't make any sense. So it, it's a marker in time, and it was 1,260 days from the day Trump got get elected. And so 
40 days forward, 40 days forward, George Floyd riots break out on Pentecost. Now, let's make a note of that. 40 days later, George Floyd riots from oil going to zero breaks out on Pentecost. Okay, so now let's go back to the eclipse. This is the sign of what it's going over seven cities called Nineveh. If it goes over seven cities called Nineveh, this is the sign of Jonah. Yes. And what did Jonah 3, 4 say? Actually, I got this, um, this part I got from Janie uh, Segui Seguin. She's a prophetess out of Canada. But she told me that God told her Jonah 3, 4. Okay. So Jonah 3, 4, it says in 40 days, God's going to bring judgment upon Nineveh if they don't turn, if they don't repent. But what did we as a nation do? We turn from our wicked ways. Yes. So we repented. We turned from our wicked ways. So is God going to bring judgment in 40 days? Oh, yeah, he's going to bring judgment, but not on his church. No. Oh, no, he's not. See, so now, so now let's look at, let's count, okay? So 40 days from the sign of Nineveh is May 18th. Now, the interesting part is, May 18th, the evening of into the next day, the 19th, is Pentecost. Remember the th sign I told you? Yes. 40 days from oil going to zero landed on, in 2020, Pentecost, Pentecost. And all hell broke loose on the earth. This time around, it will be the exact opposite. And so your father's words were very specific. You know, where is the Lord? Where is the God of Elijah? Right? Why is it taking so long? Because it's supposed to. It was written, God wrote the end from the beginning, and all of it is in God's perfect timing. So we're watching God's perfect timing unfold right in front of us. Your father spoke of it. He never gave us the year because it was a secret until the time for the reveal to be revealed. God revealed the truth. Your God's through your that father's spoken word. The spoken word was January 21. No one ever knew the year until we figured it out that it was related directly to Roe v. Wade. And it, it makes sense because of all of the things that happened in 1973 as well. Yeah. That year was the year my dad got saved. Yeah. Became you a see, Christian. And your year. father, and when a, the prophet lives the prophecy. So your father is going to, yes. all these things that happened to your father, he's living prophecy of things That's that are true. happening upon the world. So I've, so you, all these things that are happening within the world, your father's experiencing it all. And that is the truth. And we knew that even when he was alive, we understood that. That oftentimes that you know he would be prophesying things and then there would be some kind of a manifestation of it in his own life that would be re reflective it's it's very uh you know people who didn't didn't know him well wouldn't have known that but but we did understand that which is so interesting my goodness gracious Bo. oh my god you have given me so much to think about and pray oh, there's about. more yet <laughs> as usual <laughs> But I knew this, this would happen. Isn't it amazing how God works? So, oh, and, and then he's revealing all of these pieces. And so now we're seeing it all come together. So, and it's incredible that your father was literally speaking about a moment in time that seven days after his time point would be the 70 mark would be the eclipse and a hundred day. Okay. So, cause it gets even more exciting when your father said between 70 and a hundred days. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when's, yes. when's the hundredth day? Well, it's pretty simple to calculate the hundredth day is the last day of Passover. The hundredth day is April 30th. Passover. Yes. Ends. So yes. your father said between 70 and a hundred days. So 70 days is resurrection. The hundredth day is the last day of Passover. I see. So all of this is in God's perfect timing now there's a, there's a, there's another layer to all of this which really i i call it like putting the cherry on top of our conversation right and the reason i'm saying that is now when you go back and you read scriptures on exodus and you do the calculations on exodus the, the, the link is right here i've done all the calculations other people have done as well too if you read exodus it states that so we've, we've talked about what happened at passover so we know the angel mm -hmm of death shows up and the next day Israel's freed from 400 years of captivity. Right. Okay. Well, the Mayflower landed 400 years ago. You see the correlations. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So now the, so we're to be freed from Python or Pythos. Yes. Who secretly 
in, 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 ensnaring us, you know, captively holding everybody, holding humanity. The spirit of Pythos is a spirit that was holding uh, Israel during the time of Pharaoh. Okay. And so the spirit of Pythos got, is destroyed as we, from the 70th to the 100th day, specifically, a very powerful time point is going to be Passover because the angel of death shows up, destroys the firstborn of Egypt. But this is the important part, and all, all of it's important. But then the next, that morning, Israel leaves and plunders Egypt. There is your wealth yeah. transfer, okay? So your father spoke of between 70 and 90 days, you'll see the wealth transfer, okay? So the wealth transfer is going to occur between the 70th, 70th day, which is resurrection, and the last day of Passover. So the wealth transfer 100% will appear based on your father's prophetic word between the 70th and the 100th day. Mm. And coincidentally, you've got Passover right in the middle of that. What a coincidence, because there aren't any, right? And so Israel plunders Egypt, takes all the gold and silver. They leave, they leave Egypt and they get to the, go to the Red Sea. Now it takes them 16, 16 days to get to the Red Sea. They camp there for eight days, that's 24 days. And they, mm. they leave 24 nights and they depart on the 25th day. Okay. So this is in scripture. I'm not making this yeah, up. Yeah, this is, is scriptural. Okay. Absolutely. So what I'm showing you is a second witness. I call it a cherry on top, but it's a second witness to what your father has revealed. Okay. And to the calculations. So the, the second witness would be if you count on the 25th day from Passover. So Passover, the 25th day is... The 25th day is, I'm going back here, wrong yeah. slide here. The 25th day is specifically, so uh, here it is. 20 is here. the same exact day, May 18th. May 18th. So, so from the Jonah sign, 40 days is May 18th into the 19th. I see. Okay. Yes. From Exodus, it's 25 days from Passover, which is May 18th into 19th. Yes. No matter how you do the math, you are mm. at what? May 18th, May 19th, 18th, which is what? Pentecost. It is. And what is Pentecost? This is, and the Jonah, the sign of Jonas is God's going to bring judgment. Okay. But again, the prophetic word that I got, and this is uh, just from the other day from, again, Janie gave me this, this word here. It says, um, uh, America is saved from judgment for overturning Roe v. Wade. Mm. Wow. What? But the evil ones who planted evil seeds will not be saved because God's going to strike them. And this is all the angel of death. This is the, mm. so the present day pharaohs are going to be destroyed by a Red Sea miracle. Which, so the calculations are screaming Pentecost. Yes. May 18th through the 19th for the Red Sea miracle. Now it gets a little better yet. There's two more things I want to show because the Mayflower landed November 16, 20. Four years is November 2020, the elections. Oh. Now, to read Daniel, it'll be for time, times and a half a time. Yes. So three and a half years is from the election mm. is May 2024. It is. Yes. Now, this is, this is the last piece I want to give, which is okay. incredible. Tower of Babel. When you look at the Tower of Babel, right before they won everything, and they put the capstone on, and, and Satan won his whole thing. Yes. Right before everything was destroyed and, and Satan won, God showed up. Do you know when God showed up to destroy the Tower of Babel? Pentecost. Again, now, that is very interesting. Pentecost, tongues of fire. Do you get it? He twisted everybody's tongues at Pentecost. Yes. At yes. Pentecost, the Holy Spirit came upon the apostles and they spoke in tongues. Yes. And it was a baptism by fire. Yes. And this you is see. after the flood. Babel was after the flood. You had the water with the flood. This, oh my goodness gracious, you've got my brain going now. 
My, my, so my, your, your the father little and wheels are going that never work and move. They're like, hang on, what are you doing to me? So I, I just, I just really hope you know. I just hope you're, you're, wow, you're but, see, between you and your mother. I really hope you you know listen and, and go back and listen to this and listen to the power yes. and the magnitude of what the revelation now is. And so now this steps us into the prophecy of the seasons. Okay. And so, mm. so you're what I lined up here as we spoke was clearly illustrating what must happen. And your father gave us the time window from January 21 mm. to the 31st of March was the 70 days. Pythos will be destroyed by the end of Passover with yes. a great wealth transfer between the 31st of March and the, and the 30th of April. Wealth transfer begins. He goes, watch the gold. Well, what's gold? Gold is the wealth transfer. Silver and gold will explode in price because why the financial system, the U.S. dollar system, the bricks will fulfill the prophecy of what your dad said. The brothers of Goliath right. stand in glee. Yes. We will cripple you. Okay. And then your father, actually, if you want even more on this, your father had a prophetic word specifically, specifically about seven years. Mm -hmm. You have been deceived, America, for seven years, okay? So if you go from, specifically, from, oh, let me just play this prophecy for you, because I put this together for you as well, too, so maybe for you and your viewers. And this kind of brings a little kind of, um, a little fun into in the end of the, of, of the mm. presentation, because I want people to know, like, you know, all of this is very hopeful, because your father literally explained all of these things, but we, we need to, like a puzzle, put it together. Mm. Yes. And, and so I hope the presentation explained the puzzle. So well. And, and then the prophecy of the seasons are going to now begin. Why? Because we're about to step, step into seven years of blessing. Like, because you, because you have been besieged America by haters of America for seven years, but I will take you out of your besiegement for seven years. So for seven years. So let's listen to this prophecy that your that your father actually gave. Because again, I don't want to be misquoting him. So let's listen to precisely to his words of what he was saying. And let's let's enjoy this right here. So here we go. Okay. The giants that have come, the brothers of Goliath, standing glee watching America. We will cripple you. You will lose your credit. And people will become very afraid. I have said I will bring this nation to its knees. And God said you have been humbled. And then you shall hear the sounds of great victory. Okay, so let's do some math. 2016 from Obama and the transgenders in the military. Add seven years, 2023. Timeline started in 2016, seven years, 2023. What did Kim Clement prophecy say? I'm going to bring your enemies to the floor. A massive, massive shaking is about to happen. This is going to be the greatest time point in human history. So now that I've explained all that, let's listen closely to this prophecy, and you'll understand what Kim was saying in reference to time. For many that have cried out and said, God will destroy this nation. The Spirit says, may I remind you the covenant that I made with this nation is immutable, is unchangeable. And I created and spoke over this nation to feed the world, to heal the earth. God says, yes, judgment will come, but it shall not come at this time in the fashion that they have spoken. They have said, this shall be a crash and America shall be crippled. God said, not at this time, not at this time, for I have raised you up for a season. And there shall be seven years where I will take you out of your besiegement. You have been besieged for seven years, America. You have been surrounded by your internal enemies. Haters of America have stood up. And I will take the wealth of the wicked and for a season transfer it into the hands of the righteous. And All these people actually believe they're going to get away with it. Because why? They've all been tricked or deceived by who? The great deceiver. God's undefeated. God's letting them walk in, and they're walking into the greatest trap in human history. I will bring an amount of restoration to this nation, and they shall be taken out of their siege that you've been in for seven years. And then the songs will come from all over this nation, from young people who deserve to sing my song. Wow, that was so great. That was awesome.
Oh, I love seeing my dad too. That helps. Your father was such a blessing to the world and no <laughs> one actually understood truly the degree of how incredible a prophet he was. God, you know, put his mantle all over. It was, it's an incredible journey. I, you know, I'm sure you went through with your father and your, and your mother, you know, just what a blessing. Uh, and it's been just, you know, such a joy to listen to these prophecies because what it brings is it brings a mass of a hope. If you, if you, if you look what's going on in the world, there's no hope in the world because Satan comes to kill, steal and destroy. So if, when you look and you watch all the things going on in the world, like right now, three, you know, 322 hit the skull and bones. Remember you got wars breaking out, everything, you know, all of this and marches are God of war. So you see all these things happening in the world and you're, and if you're going to watch all this, you know, if it's killing, stealing, or destroying, it's it's of Satan. Where yeah. Christ comes to bring us life, life more abundantly. And so, when you listen to your father's words, it's it's the voice of God, yeah. and the voice of God is love. And more, not only is it love, it's hope. There's love, you know. And so, all of these things God is using for His purpose. And like I said, all of this is a massive setup for the greatest trap in history with Mister. Trump, Donald, seven, 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 seven. Yeah, so all this. Literally, the, the cheese that brings out all of these rats, mm -hmm. and it has to be this way. So we need to pray for him. We Always. need to anoint. We, we need to anoint our door. For, we're stepping into Passover. Know that Jesus Christ is King. This is a very. This is like you know. We will bring this nation to its knees. You know. Yeah. We're going to be scared. This is going to be like, if you watch, they're going to try to scare you because that's all they really have left yeah. is to freak people out. It, it really is. It, and your father it, said they will bring this nation to its knees. Yes. And he even made an album years ago called America on Her Knees. I mean, he really, he saw that as being a key thing to our, our, our way out. Our path out is in humility and on our knees in prayer. And um, uh, that is, uh, you know, there's so many, you'll find there's like a message that's woven throughout all of the prophecies. And that's one of the key things that will stand out as you, my dad used to say that code breakers, he named code breakers. I named the show this because he named it this, because when we come together like this and we look at the prophecies, he says, it's like weaving together a tapestry. And there's a big picture that, that God wants us to come together and he doesn't want to give it to just one person. He didn't just give it to my dad. My dad saw he was a very powerful anointed prophet, but he saw only what God allowed him to see. Yes. He didn't see everything because he needed us to be involved later. And this is the beauty of prophecy because it really shows you it wasn't Kim Clement who did that. It was God who did that through him and God can do that through all of us. Um, I mean, look at how he just, look how he just worked through you today. And it's all a prophetic thing, which is uh, really what um, my dad really was all about, like trying to help people understand, you know, um, that this prophetic thing is something for all of us. It's not just, oh, there's a couple of people who prophesy. Like we are a, a an army of warriors, spiritual warriors. And uh, um, it, we are a prophetic army. And in our unity, we can see the way that God has set before us so that when we come together in his name, he is in the midst of us and guiding us. And that's what the prophetic is all about. So that is incredible. Oh, my goodness gracious. Thank you so much, Bo. I, you've, I've got just notes everywhere <laughs> that I'm going to be going home. And I'm well, hey, you, your father you. called it code breakers. You might as well break some codes, right? This and it wasn't me breaking here. it. I literally, I'm put God's like, plug this number in. I'm like, I'm, I'm like, are you kidding me? I start laughing. He goes, plug this number. I just hear low, like, plug this number is in, right? And so we're breaking codes, right? And like yeah. I say, Revelation is a massive portrait. It's a beautiful piece of art, but it's broken into pieces like a puzzle. And mm -hmm. so we take all these pieces and we're putting them together. So, you know, look, you yourself, your father's word, uh, alphabets, we're all, everybody get a little piece. And I listen very attentively and I'm really good at putting pieces together, but we all have our anointing to do certain yes. things. And when you start counting and, and the math now is, is truly breathtaking because now what I lay, what I've kind of illustrated in this, in, you know, mm -hmm. these, whatever hour we were here for the time we were here, is a very clear illustration of how January 21 that your father spoke of was related to directly to Roe v. Wade. Yes. 
four, the last is... day of the four, 50th year, the next day, tw- the year 51 began in 2024. So your father was specifically referencing the last day of Roe v. Wade's 50th year. Is... Then we start counting, and, you know, between 70 and 100 days. And between that, we got Passover. Then right after that, we got Pentecost. Uh, and then this this then steps us into summer will be the mediator between spring and fall. Yes. Because when after God strikes, they're finished. Okay. So that's why 2024 is going to be a year of rest. Because when God strikes, starting here at say resurrection, but specifically as we step and then definitely as we in Passover and into yeah. Pentecost, when God strikes, they're finished. Okay. If that breaks the dam open. So before, like a truth would come out, they'd stick a finger in it because they have unlimited money. But yeah. this time around, the money system has collapsed. So the dollar will lose the status of the world deserve currency. So they can't buy and pay, they can't bribe and pay off anybody anymore. Yeah. And so they've lost their mechanism of control because me- Babylon was a system of control created by the dollar. Yes. So the dollar is about to be dethroned as the world reserve currency. It'll be attacked by the BRICS. The BRICS are not going to win because why? They have an agenda to bring on, you know, these are all people that do hate God, okay, generally speaking. Uh, and the BRICS are not going to win. Why? Because we made a covenant with God, and our covenant is what did your father say? Immutable. 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 Yes, that. Huh? And so the United States will be one of the greatest, there will be the greatest place to live in the world when 45 comes back and redeems his position. And we've got Clay Clark and we've got Mr. Uh, Donald Trump. Basically, both of them, you know, their, their, their birth dates critically pointing to what's about to go down in this world. Uh, all of it is by perfect mathematical design. Yes. That Which is, only God could have done that. Right. Which is then overlaid with a prophetic and then the written. And somebody actually said to me the other day, actually prophet once said, I was talking to her just the other day. She literally said, if it wasn't for math, like numbers, you wouldn't have the spoken word. So probably right. numbers came before the word. Yes. You think about it, right? Yes. So numerics came before the word. And so the numerics literally are completely entrenched and enmeshed with your father's prophecies. Mm-hmm. Wow, so much more than I even realized, Bo. My goodness gracious, you have definitely listen. Um, I have your website at the bottom of the screen right now. Is that how people find you? Or are there oh, other that's, ways that's one of the websites? You? The main one, the main would be you can use that, but uh, the other would mainly be gold and then 20 uh, behind me, gold, yeah, 2020 forecast. And you that's that's because that 2020 was the beginning of the end time of Soros, and God revealed to me everything in the world would change in the year 2020, and so and so it did. <laughs> yes, okay, there now that's at the bottom of the yeah. screen there. So you guys Perfect. see that goal 2020 forecast or bopolney.com. Let me tell you something. Get ready for your brain to be squeezed, but go over there because your spirit and your soul will thank you. Yeah. <laughs> no, and if, I would say this. Please go, go back and watch like, this. Go, after it after, uh, go over it afterwards and make sure. Yeah. Uh, go through it because it is incredible. What you just showed us today really. Yeah. I would wow. just say, go back and listen to this a couple of times, mm-hmm. at least one or two more times, because I went kind of quick because I just wanted to cover the details, but, but please listen there. to this one or two more times. It's very specific. What, what Kim Clement was speaking of. And I just give the revelation on it, which then steps us into the seasons prophecy. And yeah. so you can listen to the seasons prophecy after this, yes. but the seasons prophecy is going to follow the timeline. I just laid out because the timeline is the timeline of spring. And so there's greater details in all the calculations that I even stuck into a book that basically goes live next month. And the, the calculations literally take us years forward using the same math calculations. It's truly incredible how God is working through the numbers. But beyond all that, I was so blessed to have received this information from God yesterday and be able to share it I know. With, with, with you today, Donna, and your mom, literally the day after I get it. I was like, whoa. That is, that was meant to be too. That's God's timing again. Yeah. And um, here is that prophecy that you're talking about, the seasons prophecy to anybody who's interested. If you haven't, I'm sure you've seen it. Most people watching have seen it. But it was from July 19th of 2014. I just pulled up this trend. I won't read it. But this, anybody interested, if you want to know what he prophesied, if you can't find the video, there's the transcript. And that's on the House of Destiny Network website. You go 
to the about us section and uh, into the prophecy database. I'm sure you're you're familiar with this this database, Bo. Yes. And um, Amazing. it's July 19th of 2014. Now we are upgrading this too, just so everybody knows. We are upgrading the prophecy database and our partner program and redoing stuff on the website. So we're super excited about that. Um, all right, Bo, well, we're out of time, but I thank you so much for coming. I don't know about you guys, but uh, my mind is spinning. Uh, that's the second time that I've watched that video. And um, it's just, it's, it's absolutely incredible um, how our God works in such mysterious ways. And the, the incredible thing is the layers upon layers of, of things that he does. He does the Kim Clement prophecies. He does the written word. He does the mathematical equations and they all line up. And so a lot, like with a lot of things, what I try and do is um, I try and see, okay, does this source say one thing and this source says another thing and this source says another thing, then it's hard to know what to believe. But if this source says something and this source says the same thing and this source says the same thing and none of them really have anything to do with each other, um, then I I tend to believe what, what is being said. So anyways, um, I know it was a long one and uh, maybe, maybe I'll do another episode just kind of discussing it a little bit more, but uh, we'll see about that. Uh, I'll just let you guys... Uh, just kind of uh, chew on it a little bit. Um, if you have to rewatch it like I did, um, feel free, go for it. Um, and uh, anyways, let's close in prayer. Lord God, we thank you for this day, Father. And God, we ask that this timeline um, comes true, God. We we pray that, you, that you're showing up and you're showing up big for us, God. And we ask that you come without delay, no longer be delayed or how long, how much longer do we have to wait? God, I believe that this is all your grand design. God, you know, the beginning and the end, or do you know how everything goes? And this is a master master plan that only you could have come up with God. And so we pray right now, God, that your timeline comes through and all glory is brought to you, God, and people who don't believe in you, God, after they see all of this transpire, they have no choice but to know that you are the one true living God. And we thank you so much, God. We pray the blood of Jesus over President Trump. Pray the blood of Jesus over this country, God. And we pray the blood of Jesus over everyone uh, watching this show and uh, for all of our loved ones. And we pray this in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, guys. I will catch you on the next episode, and I promise it won't be that special. <laughs> It'll just be me, so there you go. Anyways, love you guys. Take care.